I might go Beyonce. Yeah, Beyonce, Michael Jackson, R. Kelly, Usher, and um, then who did I forget? Uh, R. Kelly. You already said R. Kelly. I said Michael Jackson, R. Kelly, mm -hmm. Usher, Beyonce, Beyonce, and Mary J. Blige. And Mary J. Blige. Hmm. And to it's be honest, so many you, more. I might have to take Usher off the list. There's other bigger you artists. You have that, Usher on your um on your overall list. You had Michael Jackson. You had Prince. You had Ron Isley. You had um uh shit. What was the other baby shit? face. Maybe baby face. face. And you have I, Usher there. I think I had Usher in that one, but no, I, I take him off. I'll take him. And to be honest with you, I would I would swap. I would put Beyonce over Usher. Just be honest with you. Been more dominant, more consistently dominant. Because she's still dominant in this time period and got hit says bang. Oh, that's true. However, Usher's, when Usher's I'm thinking, funny. no, when I'm thinking though, it's kind of like the 50 cent effect, right? Mm -hmm. So yes, she's had uh, more longevity. She has success over a longer period of time. Mm -hmm. However, the songs that hit with Usher, I think it's more songs that hit home with Usher than it is with Beyonce. In my opinion, I feel like because he's a man, because I kind of agree with you, but then I also have to consider the fact that I got a dick and he talks from dick perspective. So like, I, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna connect with us more versus because again, Lauren Hill on, on Lauren Hill one project. You know, I swear to God, this nigga keep bringing up Lauren Hill. Yo, stop bringing up Lauren Hill. You Bro, tell him no, you said because you said because we're a man. I'm saying on Lauren Hill one project, she uh -huh. has songs that hit. Right. Let's think about it. Uh, X Factor hit. Yes, these are these are not gender specific records. Meaning that these are records that can be relatable to a man and a woman. Yes, I will agree with that. Maybe she was going through a lesbian phase, or she was going through a bi phase. We don't know. And I and I and I love that. But we're not talking about leave Lauren Hill over at the Bob Marley Mansion. We talking about Usher versus Beyonce, and whose catalog was more impactful impactful that's becomes hard usher does have them shits and has impactful. bigger shits you, you, he, he didn't so he went diamond whose and catalog got, is more impactful usher or beyonce yeah that's a you, crazy you, you saying beyonce only because she's still making hits now no 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 who's Impact catalog. has to do with say catalog. That means what's out there. Yes, that's I, I catalog know. is more impactful. Beyonce, yes, or potentially Beyonce's catalog is more impactful than Usher's because Usher hasn't had a relevant hit like a like a hit hit. He's had some records that did I, but they haven't been like running shit. Beyonce got a number one country album right now that niggas is in love with. Two years ago, she had an album, Renaissance, that niggas was in love with, going crazy. World tour, remember? $300 seats in the nosebleeds. Like, not, and I'm not sure. And once again, can we don't take this as I hate Usher. Stop that. Don't get in the comments saying that dumb shit. We just talking about Beyonce is impacting. Yo, Beyonce got country niggas that's black that nobody heard of streaming going crazy. Like, Impact. I don't I don't contribute that to a catalog, but however, I'm listening to you and I'm looking at her, it's her country, music, country music. She makes country music, it's a part of her catalog. Record gold number one, record gold platinum. That's catalog, nigga. That's impact in catalog. So I mean, if I'm looking at it and you got <laughs> look, look, look. I'm just giving you time to let this wash over. No, you. no, I'm I'm, I'm looking oh. dangerously in love, 2003. Let's go. That was pretty, pretty impactful. It's um, not pretty. It was definitely impactful. And wait a minute. You you trying to be slick. No, I'm Destiny's not. Destiny's Child. Go back to Destiny's Child. Don't be trying to hold it up. No, Destiny's Child come first. You got to add that into her What was catalog. the name of Destiny's Child Project? <laughs> it's Destiny's it Child. Destiny's Child? Pull up all her shits is going to come up, nigga. Yeah, okay. All right. So, <laughs> yes. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's All see. right, let's go. The first album, complete trash. Then the second album, um, 
that once they got away from what's his name just the cowboy song i like don't care about the rest of her shit did you yo aquarius mc did you give the album a chance did you press play and listen to the entire project or are you just saying all right i heard some shit in some another bitch car and now i fucking hate it so my, like when it comes to destiny's child i think my favorite project was destiny fulfilled um i think that came out in 2004 uh, i had cater to you i had um uh, if on air, yeah, was, don't pick up the phone yeah. like you used to. Yeah. That was hard. Um, so, okay, we're going to Beyonce Impact, okay? It, we, Destiny Fulfilled <laughs> with Destiny Child. He um, said, I'm going to get it online. Uh, right. you gotta go back because the two albums that came before Destiny Fulfilled, they all sold 10 million a piece. What are we, ta- are we talking well, about? I'm just talking about Impact from what I remember. I'm just, that's oh, all okay, I'm saying. Okay, okay, go ahead, so, go ahead, go ahead. I'll let Dangerous you know. Dangerous in Love in 2003. Right. I remember it being a time. That was a time period. That's when we just found out that Jay Z and Beyonce was was seriously not just fucking. They was actually in a relationship. Yeah, it's exciting uh, time. Yeah, was Lemonade the project when she said she got hot sauce in her bag? What what what, what was that? What, no, what, what Lemonade was that? is the album when we found out that Jay Z cheated on Beyonce. Oh, yeah. They decided to stay another, together. That's a, another that's moment. Another crazy moment. album. Another, All right. What was the All project? Right. When when did she say she got hot sauce in her bag? What what what, what, what ever was that? I have no clue. Not a Beyonce. Look, I'm not a Beyonce fan. I'm not a Beyonce fan. I probably have, I have zero Beyonce albums. So like, and it's for me to know what I know. I'm like, bro, that's how much impact we talking about. And you skip some albums. This nigga I know, went- I, no, no, I wasn't going. Through, I was just saying. I'm trying to remember the times. Formation. Right, right. What what album was formation on? Uh, don't know, but it well, let me. So now you want to okay? All right, so uh, Aquarius MC, lemonade, lemonade, yeah. So the same, yeah, okay, yeah. So, yeah, so lemonade, the time we found out Jay Z cheated on Beyonce, Mm -hmm. hot sauce in my bag, swag, Mm -hmm. that was a moment. Um, Renaissance was a moment, dangerously Mm -hmm. in love was a moment. Mm-hmm. Uh, moments, big moments, big moments. Uh, put a ring on it. What's that? That's that's a ring. That's a moment that lasted years. You talking about? Come on now. And, and when when that wasn't that dangerous in love or no? That was on that album, but I'm saying that single was. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm just talking about at all for the project. So, so, well, Usher. <laughs> <so funny>. Confession. <laughs> His I'm first, not. You know, his first we project know that. wasn't really a. Well, I mean, I don't know. Cause you you remember his first now, project nineteen. You talking, about, you talking about not my way? You talking about the one that came out before my way? I mean, he had like a little it was a number. Yeah, the little simmer joint. That I mean, that album. I mean, that record was I. Right. It really didn't do much. Like when he went straight up on some like he murdered the world my way. I feel like. Usher came from an era where the album was super important and niggas was like, he's like a, he's like a, he was a mega star early. So like the My Way album did like seven, eight million copies, bro. Like, you know See, what I'm I saying? Like, he's, he's, I wasn't even going back. Oh, that, that, that came after, but, but you got to understand My Way had mega hits. So like My Way, the song, uh, 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 you make me want to, you know, lead the one I'm with, uh, nice and slow, all of these joints. Whoa, all that, whoa, whoa. All of that was on My Way. All of that's on My Way. Bruh, that album, when I ate million records, nigga, that's a huge giant for a 16, 17 year old kid. That's a ginormous fucking breakout. Okay. Then to come back with 8701, which had fucking another four or five different hits on it. That sells three, four, five million. And then each single does four or five million a piece. Crazy. Then we get to confessions. So you mean to tell me them three back to back to back. Crazy. Still giving it to Beyonce as more impactful? Yes. <laughs> I didn't say I was 100% in the bag. I'm just saying because she not only existed during those time periods, she had hits and was building and building, had a group that did crazy numbers. Then she goes solo and does crazy numbers and still is making hits today. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. I would have to agree with you because I've never heard anyone 
reference the internet as Usher's internet. So, <laughs> unfortunately, I'll have to. Yeah, I don't want to. I want to say Usher. I will I, have to agree that Beyonce has been more impactful than Usher, and that doesn't even sound right. But and it doesn't. It doesn't sound right at all. But that, because I feel like people were gonna assume that we saying that Usher not that nigga, and that's not true at all. I'm mm. just saying like. He it's been hard. He's he didn't he just drop an album or he's still preparing to drop the album. Like he's having a he's it's so hard for him to penetrate this time period and become like the hot nigga that he was back in the day. Beyonce ain't even trying. Beyonce don't even don't be putting yo, she don't really she don't do no interview, she ain't talking to nobody. Yeah, she yeah. don't even tell you she dropping music, she just do the shit. She'll just be like, yo, just put it out. I mean, I don't, I mean, you know, I guess y'all got a strategy. Well, y'all come up with something and let me know what y'all going to do. <laughs> Here's the music. Like, that's how she carries it. It's like, it's so nonchalant. Yeah, here's this Super Bowl little tidbit. And here, take this album with you. And I'll let you know when I'm ready to tour. When, I, when I'm ready, I'm y'all just get y'all money together. 